y'all. So today is, I think, day 21 of my yoga teacher training journey. And honestly, woo! I had someone ask me recently if I was in an immersion because it seems like I'm doing yoga every day. And it's kind of like an immersion, I think, because of the fact that we are doing it 12 weeks every weekend. And last weekend, which was weekend number three, we had a break. So we didn't have to go on Sunday. And then Monday was President's Day for a holiday. Um, and so that was a nice break. Today, it was basically um, back at it um, to kind of catch you up. Monday, I basically had an amazing um, time. One of my girlfriends from San Francisco, which is where I used to live, she came into town and um, essentially, I am chilling in my bed, you guys. I'm tired. Um, she came into town and her son was my son's first friend. They are actually three weeks apart. We were pregnant together and we were taking maternity leave together. So it was great to spend time with her and her son and her family. And the boys got to go to Griffith Park and got to go on the merry-go-rounds and the train museum and all sorts of fun times. And then I got to spend time with my, I call her my LA mom, my Buddhist mom. Anyway, she um, is, yeah, she means the world to me. So, and my son loves her. So we got to spend time with her, and so Sunday was an amazing day. And then Monday came, and it was a good day as well. Um, I took him to an indoor playground because it was raining here. Yes, it does rain in Southern California. It does. Um, and what else? I don't know what else I did. Made dinner, caught up on a couple of things, but mostly spent time with him. And then today was essentially... Um, I knew I had to get some yoga in, but I had to take my son to a medical appointment and then run some errands, do some work, and then get in this yoga class. So today, um, I did a yoga for beginners class, and it was really, really good. It was actually taught by a different teacher than the class that I took previously. Both of these yoga for beginner classes were at my studio, the studio where I'm doing my teacher training and um, <clears throat> the class was really good. I, I think it was the first class outside of Kundalini that I've taken by a man for a Hatha class. I mean, I think I've taken a Bikram a long time ago. That was by a, a gentleman, but it was really good. It was a good solid class. Um, there was a really good variety. I think that was the best thing that I think about his class was that he gave really good instructions and there was a lot of variety. Um, we didn't just do standing poses or, you know, we did everything. We did a good mixture of everything, balancing, inversions, floor, um, standing, like I said, tons of variety. Um, you know, he was mindful of the breath work. So all in all, a really great class. Once again, my studio, Green Tree, didn't let me down. The teachers there are amazing. So if you have not been to a Green Tree, um, studio class here and you are in Los Angeles, you need to go. You need to go tomorrow. So definitely check out the website. I love my studio. Um, and yeah, it was a really, really great class. And you guys now picked up my son. I had some dinner before that and it's time to get ready for tomorrow. So yeah, and I got to figure out how to get another class in this week. So I am looking at either Thursday or maybe um, Friday at the latest. So just, yeah, and then trying to get myself practicing. Because I don't know if I told you guys, sometime in March, I think my brain has decided to actually forget it on purpose. Sometime in March, I have to do 108 sun salutations as a part of my training. I try not to think about it. So we're working up to that. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a brief update. I'd love to hear again, what was your teacher training like? Um, I'd love to answer any questions if people want to know what's it like to be in a teacher training program for yoga or what's it like to be trying to do this as a mother or as a single mom or whatever. 
a working mom, whatever you want to know, I'm here and I will talk with you later.